Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be vlogging Millwall versus Fleetwood. Now, I didn't vlog Millwall versus Bolton for lighting reasons. I don't think my camera would have been able to handle it. Also, in the time that I last done my last vlog, I've actually got some more batteries, so you'll see no difference in changing of quality during the vlog. I'm going to be talking a lot more during the chances that happen because I didn't do that due to noise issues, but I'll be putting subtitles on it when I need to. Now, on to the pressing matters of we lost to Bolton. It wasn't the best game, I'm going to be honest. I was slightly frustrated. Beavers played fantastic, in my opinion. He was man of the match. Are we going to do well against Fleetwood? Well, only time will tell. I think we're going to win 3-2. I do think it's going to be very hard for us. We don't keep clean sheets. And it's going to be a game where we're definitely going to have to battle for it if we want to win. I know it's kind of a joke me saying we're going to score three goals, but we'll have to see how it goes, and I'll talk to you guys when we're in the stadium. Number four, Sean Hutchinson. Number seven, David Warren. Eleven, Greg Wild. Sixteen, Callum Butcher. And number 26, Jimmy Abdu. And he'll start again today. In goal, number one, Jordan Archer. Come on, Archer. Come on, Archer. Come on, Archer. Come on, CC. Number six, Sean Williams. Come on, Williams. Ben Thompson. Nine, Lee Gregory. Ten, Finally scored, Gregory. Number 12, Marlon Romeo. 17, Byron Webster. Come on, Webbo. Number 18, Shane Ferguson. 20, Steve Morrison. And number 22, Aiden O'Brien. Come on, Aiden. Rights to the team have been announced for Millwall and Fleetwood. Alford's playing for Fleetwood, so it'll be interesting to see if he can perform like Beavers did for Bolton. Now for us, we've got two strikers playing and then two strikers technically on the wing. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Unfortunately, we don't have any on the bench, so that'll be interesting to see whether that will affect our game or not. Worrell and Wilds are also on the bench along with Hutchinson. Great to see Hutchinson actually sitting on the bench fully fit now. So he might be back in a couple of games time, who knows. I want to see if Wild can actually start forming, come off the bench, do some damage. I think that's all we can hope for. As I said, I think it'll be 3-2 to us. Probably optimistic, but hey-ho, we'll see how it goes. So, let's just get into the match. Who's having it? Is it Gregory? Oh, come on, it's another penalty, surely. 
Half time, we've played well, okay. We've had spells we've done really well. We've done a lot better defensively. Craig's been fantastic. My favourite player so far in this match has got to be Fred. He's done really well attacking and he's actually done a bit of defending. I know that's a surprise to me too. Archer's had the ball a lot, only problem is Byron keeps playing back to him. Not happy with Byron at the moment, but we're impressing at the moment. We've got the penalty that scored a goal, obviously, so we haven't got one from play just yet. But Take the time and maybe we might get one in the second half. We have some players on the bench, like Warrell and Wild, that could actually add something to the game. So let's see how it goes. The strikers really haven't done too much of the ball, but there is obviously a lot more chances as there is another half. So we can only see how that one goes. Well, hopefully we can get another goal and solidify three points finally. It'll be the first time that I've seen us win in quite a while. So let's just have a look at what's happening at half time and then we get into the second half. would have kick off for the second half. Come on, Wall. Yeah, but well, that's because Warrell and Ferguson's playing left back and Warrell's. Come on, on your edge. Yes, we got another penalty. This ref's generous. Cheers, ref. If we get to goal lead, this could be big. We might actually win a game. Come on, Gregs, please. You're good at scoring penalties. Don't miss this one. Gregory. Come on. Right, so 
we've got another penalty and we convert it again. Gregory, that's 2-0 now. Very happy. This should, well, no, I say should. We should win this game now. It'll be very hard if we mess this up. Maybe we can get another goal so we can have three, just for the sake of my sanity that we're actually scoring goals, but who knows? Another penalty is very generous by the referee though, so let's just see how this game goes. Deal with it, Wall. Oh my, what a goal. What a goal. Should have dealt with it a lot better, but what a goal. Well, we've conceded it's 2 1 now. That's slightly dampened the mood. That could really affect the game. I don't know whether we're going to do a lot better here. As I say, that Gregory's running away with the ball. But no, that was slightly unlucky. We should be defending from there. Again, we fouled to. We'll see how it goes. I hope we can actually continue to do well in this game. Yeah, draw some blood, hopefully, to, for us to continue and start actually attacking, get another goal, solidify this victory. And as I say that, we've given away a foul. So it's be interesting to see how this goes. Right, so it is after the game and well, I've got a few things to just say. The first is, I'm more disappointed and relieved for the fact that we got the result in the first place. It is slightly frustrating, I'm not going to lie, to have only scored two penalties. Now, I might be ungrateful saying we want more goals, but I would prefer a goal from open play. Is that not too much to ask for? I think against Northampton we played well, but they're a smaller side. So we need to do it against someone that's pretty good and score from open play. Gregory, fair enough, he's scoring, but I don't like the way he's scoring. You can't keep scoring from the penalty spot. I think the only time that he scored not from the spot was against Northampton, and even that was a bit of luck in the way he scored. So he is not nowhere near as good as he was last season. The players in this game that I thought played pretty well, Tony Craig, I don't care what any Mole fans say, he isn't a liability in defence. Webster is. Webster was atrocious today. You can't keep playing it back to Archer. And that's where the problem stems from. I hope Hutchinson is a lot better now that he's back and fit and ready to play. Williams was fantastic in the midfield. And so was Thompson. So the key player, I would probably go with Williams. I thought he was fantastic. And he'd done so much for us. But it's worrying the fact that Harris lists two strikers playing in the game and then obviously the left and right midfielders are the strikers but he has no one on the bench to come on and respond 
So if you need to take a striker off, I think that's quite worrying for the club moving forward. But overall, I'm pretty impressed the fact that we won and I'm just hoping that will continue. We've got our next game, which I believe is against Oxford United. They beat us, obviously, in the paint trophy last time, and we also beat them as well. So it'd be interesting to see how this one goes. I don't really know whether we're winning or not. We only have to find out then. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. I tried to have as much of me speaking as possible as I cut that out in the last vlog that I did. So until the next vlog, which will obviously be the next game I go to, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next Millwall vlog that I do. But until then, goodbye.